So another ro local race we are looking at is the District 49 congressional race. That's one of the ones that the whole country has really been paying attention to. Remember, President Biden came here last week for a few days to campaign for Congressman Mike Levin, and it is still too close to call. The latest numbers show Levin with a 51 to 49 percent lead over Brian Marriott, a difference of just 3,600 votes, and where you can break this race down is almost specifically along county lines. This district spans Orange County and parts of northern San Diego County. So if you look in San Diego, San Diego has a higher percentage of Democratic voters. About 41% of registered voters in San Diego are Democrat. And you can see in San Diego County, Levin with a much larger lead, 56 to 44%. Those exact same numbers, though, play out in Orange County, which has the higher percentage of registered Republicans, where you see Brian Mayer. Marriott is leading by the same 56 to 44 percent. It's interesting to note, though, as you look for where the votes are coming from back at the primary, because in the primary, Levin got 49 percent of the vote. Brian Marriott only got 19 percent of the vote. But then you have all of these other candidates who ran five GOP candidates split the GOP vote, and it looks like most of the people who voted Republican in the primary coalesced into one group around Marriott. That's helped to make up the difference and is what has led to such a tight race here as you look overall on where these guys are getting their votes and how it's going to play out. Um, it has been a very close race, and it's going to have an impact on the House and who controls that chamber of Congress, because right now, even knowing which party is going to be in charge of Congress is too close to call as several races like this one play out across the country. Uh, ABC 10 News reporter Marie Coronel is live right now from the Registrar of Voters. And Marie, there are a lot of ballots that still need to be counted in this race. This is super close. Absolutely, Jared, and many of those ballots will be counted right here at the Registrar of Voters office. Meanwhile, both candidates have said they know this is going to be a tight race to the finish. It's the day after the midterm election and the plaza in front of the county registrar of voters building is empty. All of the signs have been taken down, but the work continues inside of the building where ballots will be counted. One of the local races that's getting a lot of attention is the 49th congressional district seat. As it stands, incumbent Democrat Mike Levin is ahead of Republican Brian Marriott. Levin stopped by our ABC 10 News studio Wednesday morning to give his take on these preliminary numbers. We like where we are. Uh, we're just going to wait every single day and, and we'll just see what that count is little by little as it goes in California. Uh, but we're thrilled. Levin also got some help last week from President Joe Biden. He stopped by San Diego to help him campaign. ABC 10 News also reached out to his challenger, Brian Marriott, to get his reaction to the latest numbers. We are still waiting to hear back from him, but he did make a statement during his watch party Tuesday night, where he acknowledged this is going to be a competitive race. I think we've got a lot of great momentum, and who knows after that? I mean, you just don't know the way the results are. We think when the dust settles, whenever that may be, we'll be the winner. And we actually just got a statement from Marriott's camp just a few minutes ago. It reads, quote, we are certainly optimistic with where we're positioned. Voters are fed up with these high prices and out of touch politicians. We expect that as more votes are counted, we will close the 2% gap and that the voters of 49th District will send a financial planner to Congress. So again, at this point, there are 41 precincts that are in. We're live from Courtney Mesa, Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News. Thank